<coughs> Hello everybody, my name is Maj blah, 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 blah. Hello everybody, my name is Majorati and welcome back to this nightmare, or otherwise known as Lit Club. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. <coughs> uh, I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. <coughs> uh, hi Maj. Yo, Sayori. What, yo? What am I? Looks like you're in a good mood today. Heh. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to, uh, to get you in a good mood. Yeah, that's true. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. <clears throat> my voice, I'm losing my voice a little bit. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? <laughs> n n no thanks. Huh? Th th that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Uh... Why... That, all of a sudden. <laughs> no reason, really. <clears throat> I just wanted to look at it. Uh, uh. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles at the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill under the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Uh, I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. <laughs> That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the, class the club room. So, either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves the one option. Wah! I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, then that means you deserve to feel guilty. What? <laughs> what? <coughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Uh... I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Maj to let me borrow some money. What? That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sarah. <laughs> what is this game? Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. <clears throat> Good point. Everyone who's borrowed money from me, give it back now. I expect a check in the mail in three days. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. I can read still. <clears throat> uh, did I just... I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh, uh, I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. Okay. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. <laughs> that. Still, coming from you, Sayori, <clears throat> I guess there's a little devil inside us all, isn't there? Uh, why would you be happy about that? Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But... But... You wouldn't have come if you if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Ooh. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Uh, what? Yeah. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles under the desk. Ow. What was... A, 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 a cookie. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. <laughs> Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution. <laughs> Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <clears throat> uh, what the fuck? Where did you come from? I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. Oh, it was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Uh -huh. Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sari hugs the cookie. What? It's a beautiful cookie. Oh, it's so good. Jeez, just eat it. Sari rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Sari <laughs> mm. suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Uh, you're going through a lot over just one cookie. I botched the voice earlier, I realized that. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? <laughs> Fine. 
Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Eh. Yeah. Sierra gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. <laughs> what is happening? Um, Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki. <laughs> That's so messed up. I feel like that would be the kind of person I'd be. Hey, did you just seriously do that? Or did you seriously just do that? Mm -hmm. Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. <laughs> Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica... Can you taste, uh, tell Sayori at... Natsuki glances around. Monica is in the club room. Uh-oh. Ugh. Where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. My voice is... <coughs> she probably just had something to do today happening. She's pretty popular after all. Ah, uh, you don't think she... She has a... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. That's messed up. Uh, that's true. Excuse me. <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Uh. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Oof. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh? Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I'm kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. What? In a study hall? Where does what? No! I mean, I guess study hall is technically not a designated room. Uh, some of my high school it was. Sucked. It was heinous. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay. That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Maj. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't mess any miss anything, did I? Mess anything? <laughs> nah, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapa uh, escapade. I almost said escapade. That's not right. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. <laughs> How big was the cookie? Yuri's back to her book, and Atsuki disappeared into the closet. <laughs> what is the closet? Why? Maj, Maj! Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna get some supplies from another classroom. <clears throat> Want to come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know, the festival's coming up. Me and Monica, we're gonna make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going with Maj to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. <clears throat> I'd be happy to go with him. What? Aw, but I wanted to go. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you can find poster paper too, okay? Okay. Ready, Maj? Yep, let's go. I like how my voice is doled down and stupid. Sari and I exit the classroom. <clears throat> I follow behind as Sari comes and skips around the hallway. Honestly, it feels like I'm talking to a kid to the m I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sari finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Simple. It's see simple. You don't need complex things. I keep punching this because it's right for my face. Hey Sayori, what exactly uh, are we doing for the festival anyway? <clears throat> I'm not sure how would you make it.
I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. Lit. <coughs> <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're gonna do poetry performance. What is that? A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone's gonna take turns on stage and recite their favorite po- Oh, <laughs> Ah, uh, that sounds kinda dull. Excuse me. Maj, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. <clears throat> it's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like you say the lines of the poem, like, like you like you say the lines of the poem, like <laughs> between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moments between my fingers. But to what ends I have have I summoned this joy? <clears throat> For now, I look in every direction. The once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. What? Like that. <clears throat> Sorry. How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. <laughs> eh, you meanie. <clears throat> I'm working super hard on this, you know. Ah, I know. I know. I just meant that it's pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> Don't say that. It's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm not... <clears throat> the festival is going to be so much not fun. Sari spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, Maj, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sari like this. <clears throat> but in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine drawing happiness vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in, myself up in my room more and more. So going, adv going adventuring with Sayori brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had. And blah, blah, blah. I could talk, I could read, I swear. <laughs> Two of us enter the classroom. This is Sayori heads straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons. Sayori pulls out a box full of crayons uh, off the shelf. They're the best brand too. <laughs> They're kind of dirty though. Sayori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. All right, that's one down. Don't get distracted. We still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. I dropped one by accident. Smack. Kya! Sari bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. Ow. She bent, She falls to the floor and the crayons spill over her lap. Ow, wow, 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 wow. You okay? My forehead. Sari clutches her forehead. Jeez, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. Blah, blah, blah. You have to move your hand, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Ow. Sayori slowly raises her hands from her forehead. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Ow! Sorry. There's also a huge red mark in the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Ouch. Well, I've never done that, and I'm happy I've never. And that's going to swell up. I should find you some ice. Maj. Where would I even find ice around this time? Uh, I guess a cold drink will do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. <laughs> even wincing through the pain, so he makes a silly joke. Aha, uh -huh, what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I pass Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder and run into the hallway. How did 14 minutes go by? I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? Doesn't really matter since it would be used as an ice pack rather than to drink. But I know Sari likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. In just a moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. <clears throat> Ouch. Pain. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. Wow, those are some non... Those are... What the frick? At least they were already in the wrong spots before I spilled them. Sayori here. I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sayori opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sorry, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot! Ah, uh, sorry, I, I forgot. <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? Sorry, places the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, Maj. This kind of reminds... Uh, this kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Eh, what do you mean? You know, how we used to play outside all the time. I would always try to keep up with you. 
you were kind of oblivious uh, in some ways. Like I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would start crying really hard. Uh, and you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It's almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble somebody found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? But I really do that. Yeah, you don't remember. Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like this time, too. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Hello. Maj. I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years. You're rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. D -d 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 don't call me that. And I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that what's that bleh, bleh, bleh. I guess that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Maj? I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll end up. Uh, where we'll each end up for college or after that. So it wouldn't be fair to me to make any promises. But... Well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? Can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Sari has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. So silly and clumsy on the outside, that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. <clears throat> I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know. Good luck with that. She's going to see your forehead either way. Not if I had it under my bangs. <laughs> Sari hops to her feet. Ah! She clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. It's been 17 minutes. I really should have stopped this. Oy. Well, I guess it's too late now. All right, we're good. Oh, dang it. We're going to save this. And we're going to stop the episode here because we're already a little bit over time. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this. This is just getting weirder and weirder every time I play it. So, yeah, I hope it doesn't get any stranger. It does. It's worse, apparently. We'll find out. So I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.